Well, new at six, she is Maryland's first Asian American First Lady. And when members of the Asian American community were under attack, First Lady Yumi Hogan used her position to spread a message of hope. WJZ is live outside the governor's mansion right now. Abajoy Burnett has an exclusive interview with the First Lady. And Abajoy, I understand you covered a wide range of topics, talking about everything from the pandemic to her life as a first generation immigrant. Yes, we sat down for more than 30 minutes talking about everything. She came to the U.S. more than 40 years ago, but life hasn't always been easy for her. She talked about being a single working mother, and now that she's here at the governor's mansion, she's using her position to help others. Maryland's first lady, Yumi Hogan, has experienced a lot of firsts, but the first generation Korean American never thought her life would take her here to the oh, governor's God, mansion. I, she moved to the U.S. more than 40 years ago. Then one day, while she was at an art gallery, a man approached her. It was Larry Hogan. He was a simple man, not governor at yeah. that time. He gave it to me a business card. So I was single mom. I didn't think about any man, you know, dating. She never called him, but they saw each other about a year later. I already tell him, I have three daughters. If you don't accept my daughter, I cannot date him. So he said, I do. Then we start dating. The couple married in 2004, and about a decade after that, he became governor. Political watchers say she is a well liked figure in the state. When the pandemic hit and Asian Americans were being attacked and blamed for the lockdowns, the governor revealed that their own daughters were afraid to travel. The first lady was among dignitaries who went to Korean Way and Ellicott City to reassure business owners who were scared. We have to love each other. I think it's uh, very important. Today, I am going to make spicy Korean barbecue. The first lady has used her platform to teach people to cook Asian cuisine at home. And after her husband survived cancer, she started an art therapy program for kids with cancer. After raising her daughters, the first lady who's loved art since she was a child went back to school in her 40s. Her artwork has been displayed around the world. And I tell people, don't give up. You know, never too late. You know, always you have a dream. Doesn't matter what what challenges face. You know, always dream come true. Now the first lady, she has an associate's degree. She went to MICA and American University, where she has a master's in fine arts. She's now an adjunct professor at her alma mater at MICA. Live in Annapolis, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.